What are some of the mile markers or definitive moments in your life or turning points? You know, looking back, teaching the last few years, um, sometimes I've been disappointed because I want class. I want to be one of the big classes in the church. And I hear guys have men's ministries, and there's tons of, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of guys. And I think, why? You know, mine have always been pretty small, um, both in couples. We teach young couples now, uh, and they're 25 to 35 year old, and they're having babies. And and uh, it occurred to me one day, Sunday school is about catch and release. It's not about gathering. It's it, I get them for a while, and I and, and they're supposed to go off and do what God's called them to do. The same thing with guys. You know, I'd look at men's ministry, and I think, man, there's so many men in our church need what we're doing. Uh, there's, they just need this. They don't have anybody to talk with, to share their heart with, to hear each other tell life stories with, and they just need this. And, and why, aren't, why aren't they in this room? But it was the same kind of focusing. I realized, you know, God's trusted me with these guys. These are some of His best guys. It's like you said, here's some of my best guys here. You take care of them for a while. But I'm going to take them back and I'll give you some more. That, that wasn't an individual voice that I heard, like some of my other stories where God you know, spoke this, but it was more of a slowly realizing, okay, this is where I need to be, and this is where my place is, and I'm not the giant speaker, I'm the trail guide. Probably the most effective things I do are when it's just me and a couple of other guys. That, that was a real eye-opener for me, but it, was a, it also felt good. Another story, this happened, this was in 1986, and the employer that I worked for offered to transfer to a job in uh, California. It was a pretty cool move in the company. It was a lateral move, but yet because of the structure of the company, it was as if you were getting promoted. It got a lot of attention, and uh, it was kind of exciting for us. Well, anyway, by the end of the summer, finally they called me up and said, we're not going to send you, we're going to send somebody else. And it wasn't really till just within the last couple of months I was out one day and, and uh, walking, and I'm listening to a podcast, and I don't remember what the podcast was about, <clears throat> but, the, but the voice in my head says, you know, that just wasn't for you. It, it just wasn't for you. And I realized, I knew exactly what it was talking about and how different my life would have been if I'd have taken that promotion. I probably would have gone up the corporate ladder. Maybe we'd have lived in some big place and might have been big in this corporate world. But man, how things would have been different. I just don't see the ministries we're involved in and the people we touch. I don't see how that would have happened. Um, if, if, if that part of the story had happened the way I thought it was going to. It took me from 86 until now, you know, 30 years, to really get a handle that, that I didn't get something taken away from me, that God pulled me out of what was the wrong path.